I've never watched a single second of Doctor Who in my life. <laughs> but I was like, Doctor Who is definitely a show that, like, breaks its own rules a lot, but even then, it's one of these, like, they establish the rules of the show. Oh my goodness. And, like, you yeah. can't... I just, it's a great title I just had, Wow. I just, had to, I just had to imagine that scenario that he just what? described. You know, he's just going about his day, and suddenly he gets a call from his friend, and they're like, Dude! Dude! Alert! Caution! Court red! You've got an issue in your law. Like, your canon doesn't make sense. This is the most significant stuff that ever happened. We have to fix this now or the universe will explode. The, the, continu the continuity alarm goes off. Yeah, it's, it's the canon police. <laughs> like the KGB knocks down the door. <laughs> and demands that they yeah. see the continuity from hello, the comics. Hello, there. comrade. We were we were seeing that you had some issue with your with your continuity. We thought we could help you with that. <laughs> My Little Pony doesn't have to worry about that. So I am seeing continuity is not yeah, ending it's up. Over. It's <laughs> over. Well, it's at done. least Gen Four is over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gen Five doesn't make sense. Oop! I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Considering I don't watch it, I have no opinion one way or the other, really. Like, like, no, no hate to anyone who does like Gen Five. We have a few friends who do, I, and I, like, yep. dude, more power to them. I, as always, am gonna say I have hate for it, even though I have no opinion, just because I like being a jerk. <laughs> You're wow, just Matt. genuinely a, 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 like a hateful person. <laughs> exactly. That's how, that's, how, that's how we know you. I just like being just... contrary. Seriously, though, yeah. like, I, I kind of wish I had invested interest in looking at it, but. At the same time, it's like the the first kind of uh, premise that I heard about it is like it, it sounded like it just went completely against what I already know about My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like oh, friendship is magic. Everything was fixed. Then they died. No. <laughs> no. And then somehow no, Twilight and friend, her friends screwed pony. it all up. Once upon a time. There was an ugly pony named Sunny Starburst. She was so what ugly that every pony died. died. Dude. <laughs> I know that's not how it goes, but it's just so funny to say. Remember, kids, friendship is smartphones. <laughs> yeah, why do they all use smartphones? Because that's what's Be cool. Because they're cool. Now. Yeah, it's, no. it's, they gotta make it relatable. No. It can Again, be I'm just. I, they're ponies. They can be relatable. I enjoyed. I enjoyed the fourth generation of the series. And I, I again. I got nine seasons plus a long running comic book. I'm totally fine with that. I don't. I don't need generation five. I don't care about generation five. I, they can do whatever yep. the heck they want with it. Anyway, Pizza yep. Tower. <laughs> but, but I, I guess it's cool for the, you know, for the following generations of oh, sure. people. So they have something that they can be maybe uh, enthusiastic about. Mm -hmm. I guess kind of like kind of like Pokemon. I know that like um, my kids, like Gwendolyn and Lily, I think liked like Generation Five. They're kind of into it. Although I think Isaac was like, Nah, Generation Four is better. Like I think Isaac really prefers <laughs> prefers the, the fourth one. He's like, Yeah, he's like, well, you just, you, you just that's just because you brought him up right. Yeah. <laughs> Was that, a, was that, that a frog? That sausage man looks so happy that I punched him. He looked like a frog. Like Another he was leaving. Like, no, he can't. No, this is clearly based on Mexico. He, he can't be a frog. It's not in France. But <laughs> what? <laughs> you confused me there. What? It's, it's a mean thing people call people from France sometimes. Oh. Matthew. Yeah, because they because they all they eat is frog legs and snails. Yeah, because it's the cliche about how they eat frogs legs. And Matthew, stuff. Yeah. honestly, that's I, that's so mean. But see, that's the thing. I've always thought that was a funny insult because, like, of all the of all the mean things you can call someone, a frog really that's that's not mean. That's funny. Hmm. I you know could I, I could though? say some of the meanest things, but I won't do that. Don't say I'll be anything. Censored. We have to censor. Yeah. No, I'm not going to. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, like, no, but stop it! I didn't say anything bad. He just has fun pressing the button. Not yet, however. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <is it> true. <laughs> uh, no, but you know, I really think that uh, the least uh, that uh, the, the people that are the least to complain about being uh, called out on their cuisine are the French. Yeah, uh, you know, they are they are like literally the the 
the starting point of cuisine, of yes. fine cuisine and dining from our standpoint. So I guess making fun of them isn't that bad. Yeah. Really. You, you know what I think is stupid? How they, how, um... You're getting kicked by cows? Yes. <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> I love watching him twirl around in the air. But like, speaking of censoring things and stuff like that and like updating Uh-oh. stuff, you know what, you know what ticks me off? What? Is... How gypsy is considered it, uh, like a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he knew exactly. McNovitz. <laughs> it, no, just stop it. You're being she a just bully. called me, guys. You gotta believe me. She just called me a really bad word. <laughs> everybody, everybody, go cancel. Uh, <laughs> now. Imagine the worst word no! you've ever heard, and it's but it's worse than that. That's how bad. It's it is. it's poopy pants. <laughs> I'll well, have you know that poopy pants is a very offensive term for someone from Germany, and you have just greatly offended our friends. Did you just dox me? Yes. <laughs> yes. You McNobbs is the can one and only life. person who lives in Germany. <laughs> And we all know how tiny Germany is, so he'll be easy to find. If he no one else. Yeah. No one else lived in Germany ever. Except ever. For him. In fact, Germany <laughs> is such a is such a minor place. It's never been like you know integral to any historical events or anything. It's just oh complete, god, completely okay, now unknown. I'm getting, now, in fact, now my, I'm getting really like uh, my my my, uh, my sense of thing is getting a panic attack. <laughs> As a matter of fact, my German heritage no longer exists. <laughs> Wait, what? I have, it's been I have, eradicated? Yeah. It's been eradicated. It's so tiny that it retroactively undid her heritage. Yeah, Doctor Who was involved. <laughs> Doctor Who was involved in everything. That's right. Bloody hell. But, but what, what I was saying before uh, uh-huh. is that... Okay, don't actually censor me, please. But if you do, I... <laughs> I hate you. My bad. My bad. I continue. hate you so much. I don't actually hate you. I love you, but... The, like the, the word. <laughs> Wait, it's bad that I said I love you. No, it's like because it's the I don't hate you, I love you. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. You know. But 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 so but so like the, the word gypsy. It's not a bad word. It's it, it... It's literally just the term for a group of people. Yeah. Even even the the people that it applies to, like yeah, we're gypsies. Yeah, we're it's like, and, and, it, and it's like it's, uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the the Disney version mm-hmm. that is, was blacklisted or something. So I've heard because they use the word. Uh... Yeah, but uh, that's it's guys, not it's yeah. not supposed to be an offensive term. It's guys, I hear something. I think I think I can hear the comment section. <laughs> 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 oh, McDonald's, you're awesome! Oh my goodness! I, I love having this group of friends who are all who all like share this attitude. Of, I don't care. I don't give a crap. But like seriously, though, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, why would you want to blacklist that thing? Like, cause th- because that, it has that, a word uh, that people don't like. That story is such also, a masterpiece, though. It's one it's, of my it's, favorites. It's, it's, if you think about it, it's double stupid because the person that says the word is actually supposed to be racist and, uh, yeah. you know, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, bigoted. Well, that's like, um, I remember, um, you know, of course, oh, there's all this me, fuss, sorry. you know, it, it's been Bless for, you. there's been fuss Thank for you. years about the book um, Huckleberry Finn and uh, the character of Jim in the book who was black. And mm-hmm. throughout the book, Several people are pretty mean to him and use some pretty offensive language about it. But the whole point of that is to show, like, uh, one, it's like, okay, that's honey, accurate. Well, one's like, well, that's the time no, period. No, honey, that's honey, what... you gotta get the, you gotta get that oh, fire that's pepper. Oh, right, yeah. Anyway, so the whole thing is like, well, you know, that is accurate in the time period. But two, the whole reason why um, uh, uh, Mark Twain wrote wrote it that way was he wanted oh, they kick, to... They kicked the fire pepper right out of ...create you. a sympathetic character and show people, like, there's no reason to treat, you know, black people this way. They're people just like us. They're, they're, like, don't you see the irony of this behavior? You know, mm-hmm. the characters doing this are far worse people than Jim in the book and everything. But people are, like, people are mad because they use the word. Like, you missed the point! Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I love about it, if, you, if you've ever read the book, there's a foreword 
written by Mark Twain that says that there is no moral to the book, and if you try to find it, then you should be arrested and executed. Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> because, like, the moral is, like, blatantly, at, at least should be blatantly obvious kind of thing. Oh my god. So gosh. he's pretty much mocking anyone who doesn't see the obvious points of the book. Based oh. as hell. I love it. It's a great and it's a great book. Wow. It really is. Anyone who's offended by the language in it, I'm sorry. To 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 quote one of my favorite uh, lines from Grunkle Stan. It's not actually in Gravity Falls. It was a little interview that the creator of the show did. But to quote him, sorry, some of these quotes might be a little blue, so you might want to, you know, grow a pair. <laughs> <sighs> grow a pair of what? Wait, come to Mr. Mr. Stick. Grow a Mr. Stick, yeah. Grow I don't know why the guy's name is Mr. Stick. Go That's just his name. Because he's, he's a stick. I mean, they turned it because he's tall and skinny. Like yeah. Stick, Did that guy just. He sticks you to it. I have to pay him to Inspe get to the, the Inspect boss the gadget to stole all your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have to pay him to get to the boss level. Oh, no! Yeah, that's right, it's the boss level. So, think this is a game, young man? Oh my gosh! <laughs> the Vino versus the, the, the vigilant. Vigilante. Look at all those cowboy heads! <laughs> oh god! It says gun! Get the gun! Oh. Everyone, sense of the word gun! <laughs> You're just. Oh, that's I right. Just, that's not allowed having... on YouTube oh, now, is no! it? No! Because that's how much of a, that's how that's how big we've become as sissies, I guess. Yeah. Someone, someone do oh, nice. something. They're gonna not alive him. I didn't realize you can hold down the button and like shoot a massive bullet at Whoa. him. Whoa! That's really cool. Sweet. You just gotta That's time not it how I you remember listen. the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great so far. Oh, whoop. hang on. Oh boy, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 it's not as funny as a snake in my boots. I was gonna but... say, is there something food or pizza related that uh, that sounds like snake? That There's a bake in my boot. There's a bake in my boot. <laughs> There's a rake in my boot. It kind of hurts. <laughs> like the like the monster rake or the the item rake. It's like a rake or a the rake, walk. The rake that you use in your garden. If you look very closely in the upper right-hand <laughs> corner, you'll see a shadow. I don't know if it's a rake or a skinwalker, but it's still pretty scary to think about. <laughs> Number also... 15. Oh. <laughs> King foot lettuce. <laughs> and number zero, I pooped. The and top when, you think of... <laughs> when, you, when you think of poop, you think of E. coli, which is pretty scary because you could actually get a disease. <laughs> who, who made a rat in my ravioli? I didn't order ravioli. <laughs> ravioli. <laughs> when you think about Ronald McDonald, you can imagine how many children were traumatized. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's exactly like something he would say. <laughs> I, <laughs> I hate him. I hate him and everyone on YouTube who does that stupid voice. Number fifteen. <laughs> like I hate that. It's the most annoying voice. And there's such pansies. Like, it's like, like the scariest things ever seen for children. Number four. Ronald McDonald. Ronald McDonald is a clown, and everyone's afraid of clowns. Like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Everyone's afraid of clowns. Did you guys see that poster for the Mario movie? When you think about it, it's really scary. <laughs> when you think about it, it's really scary because Mario's butt looks oversized, which means that he's gained weight. And Mario is already fat, which means he's gained even more weight, which means he has a higher <laughs> risk of cholesterol. <laughs> What'd you say? He's sick! <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of Fat Albert just busting in. Hey, sick! Hey, dummy, sick! Damn, boy! Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. Oh, He's yeah. dummy! That's a sick <laughs> boy! Time to, draw. Damn. time to draw! Okay, hold on. Draw. Hold on. Ooh. 
Yeah! yeah. Got him! Ooh, got him! None of the, first none try! Of that, none of that Han shot first nonsense. It's yeah. Pepino first, shot first. <laughs> Pepino shot the first. <laughs> oh, a giant key! When I, add an, when I add an A to everything I say, I make the accent especially uh, problematic. Eh? <laughs> you know, I have to say, again, uh, anyone who complains about things being offensive or problematic and these things, more often than not, are extremely ignorant people who don't know. Because having italian heritage and uh knowing a lot of people like when i lived in new york people with italian heritage and stuff uh, yeah when people talk like this uh, uh, that's really how they sound <laughs> also, it's it's honestly, not problematic honestly, it's how they sound also honestly, that elevator honestly you, was scary. you you person you viewer <laughs> if you think about leaving a bad comment under this video because you feel offended forget about it forget right. about it. that's the matter for you huh Atsamara, Atsamara, hey, Atsamara for you. You will have a raviola and I'm a pasta fasola too. I'm a give you cacciatore and a pizza that's good to chew. Atsamara, you no like me, hey, Atsamara for you.